I'm now a sophomore. When I'm not going to school, I do interviews, I do public speaking, I do book signings. Ever since going back to Shriners and seeing all the kids there, they always seem to feel uncomfortable in their skin. And I know how that feels. I went through it myself. And if they see somebody like me who has visible scars everywhere, I figured they could be like, oh wow, she, she has scars and she's fine with it too. So I feel like I could be a good role model. I think that it's important for other people to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. I think that's a very important message. Please welcome Kylie and her mother, Lori, back to the show. It is so good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. I can't believe, uh, number one, how much you've grown up in the last you few have. years. <laughs> and you're such a beautiful lady. Thank you. But Thank also, you. but also... What you've done in those few years, yes. you started a charity, yeah. you've written a book, you've, I mean, you've inspired. Tell us yeah. about that. Um, we started a charity, it's called Kylie Gives Back Foundation. Um, to date, we've raised $236,000 for Shriners ah. Hospital for Children. I know that you're an ambassador for the Shriners. Yes. Hospital in Cincinnati, the place that treated you with these devastating burns. Now you're working for them. Exactly, and we, we knew how much they did for us, and we really wanted to pay them back in some way, so that's why we started the charity, and we just really, we really wanted them to know how grateful we were for everything they'd done. Well, I happened to run into Justin Bieber after, after this episode elsewhere, and, you know, I complimented him for coming and, and being the way he was. And I, I can tell you that he was thrilled to do it. You made a real impression on him and a real positive thing, response that I got from him. I'm, I'm curious how you've been through this traumatic experience and then you're two years ago on the stage and Justin Bieber walks out and the two of you spent some time together after that too. Did that, how did that affect you? It was a really great surprise and I think it really started my motivation, just because I, I was really not in a good place when I came here. Um, I had just gotten out of the hospital a month before, and I was still going through a really extensive healing process. So, for me to see him and to see that other people are caring and watching and hearing my story, that was really important for me. And now you're doing that for other kids. And I want to ask mm -hmm. you, as a mom, you must be so proud of Kylie, but also that transformation that you've seen that started with her on this stage two plus years ago. Yeah, she has turned into one fine young woman and we couldn't be more proud of her. What she continues to do is amazing. I just wonder if you have any message you want to give to anybody else who's suffering from severe burns. And, you know, especially when you're a teenager, after oh, going yeah. to school, you have to look at people in the eye. It's really hard and can really impact you. Beautiful Scars, which is my book, It, the message behind that is basically the message that I want to share every time I go someplace to speak or to talk to a child. And that is that you can get through anything if you just try. And mm -hmm. I understand that a lot of people are going through a lot of troubling times in their lives. And especially being a teenager or even just being a burn survivor or even anything in your life that you're going through. I feel like I have a message for that. And that is that if you just try and keep the hope and know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, then good will eventually come from it. Well, your maturity is well beyond your years, and Kylie and Lori wrote this book. It's called Beautiful Scars, A Life Redefined. It's available online in bookstores now, and the best part is if you're in the audience, you're all going home with a copy. <laughs> Kylie, keep it up. It's so good so to awesome. see you back on stage. Keep inspiring. Lori, thank you as thank well. You. Thank you we'll be right back.